Uh, I think it was Mr. Hitmer who mentioned the word innovation. And innovation is crucial. We need the new ideas, and they have to be tested, of course, before they're put into practice. But if you make it too difficult for people to innovate, if the tests are too difficult, if the hurdles are too high, then people won't innovate. It's as simple as that. Uh, I'm no great defender of European institutions, and I won't defend EFSA, uh, but there will always be a risk. There will always be a risk. And if you use the... Uh, that the term hazard is your benchmark, then you'll never get anything through because everything is a hazard of some sort or another. Petrol, but we have to decide, is it worth the risk to, to expose ourselves to this hazard? That always has to be, be the equation. Uh, this precautionary principle stifles innovation, completely stifles it. Oh, well, we don't know, so therefore we won't do anything. And yet the world's population keeps growing and they want to eat more food. Houses are built where food used to, to grow. We have to keep raising our game. And only innovation can do it. And there is a limit to the amount you can smother it. Otherwise, people just won't bother. Look at electricity. Would we have electricity today if we had the attitude now to, to innovation we're seeing here? And I just want to ask the rapporteur, I do hope you will look at, as I asked the other one in the previous um, uh, uh, agenda item, rotenone and copper hydroxide. Have a look at those, please. Thank you.